Your root chakra is the color red owing to the fact that it vibrates at a lower frequency. This chakra is located in the area known as the perineum. The root chakra is all about being physically there and having a sense of belonging in any given situation. It also corresponds to your survival instincts where it gravitates into a point of trust and self-preservation. If this chakra is active and balanced, you feel grounded, stable and secure. You'll find it hard to trust people, you feel present in your current being and feel connected and rooted to your physical body. However, when this chakra is weak and not activated, you may feel inferior in terms of your appearance, whether this could be your height, your weight or your body shape. You may feel you're not pretty good or you're not good enough and don't have direct control of your life. You feel unwelcome when it's not the case. Therefore, you are in a constant battle of fear and tension. It is also possible for your root chakra to be overactive. If this is the case, you are easily agitated by the slightest provocation. You might also be someone who is materialistic and be overcome by greed. This may result in addiction of all kinds. For instance, compulsive gamblers, drug addicts, alcoholics, video game addicts, sex addicts, as well as shopaholics. These are all results of an overly active root chakra. When you become comfortable in that state, it is hard for you to revert back and change for the better. This particular scenario can be observed with teenagers nowadays who are rebellious and are caught up in social ills as a result of one the point and identity crisis. This happens when they do not have a sense of self and are willing to do anything because of peer pressure to feel more worthy of themselves. Constantly feeling bouts of anxiety, stress or guilt about money, is it difficult to handle your finances as well or is it hard to accumulate material wealth? These issues may very likely be caused by blockages or imbalances in the root chakra which usually manifests itself in the form of fear and major insecurities about survival. This ties in closely to financial security as our basic needs in life are dependent on this aspect. With an unbalanced root chakra, you will constantly feel insecure when it comes to your finances, even if your income is a sizable amount. Your survival energy is centered on money and every bill or expense that comes your way makes you feel behind. You have an unhealthy obsession with money and feel the constant need to keep finding ways to earn more and more money and feel stressed when you don't. You may also find yourself in a less than ideal career and face financial problems all the time. You may feel stuck and sluggish but yet your fear holds you back. You never feel like you're good enough and this affects your drive to achieve what you want in life. These are all signs of an imbalance in the root chakra. With a balanced root chakra, however, you find yourself more confident in yourself as well as your ability to earn and manage your finances. You organize your finances as well, you have enough for what you need and want in life. You are also more unlikely to have an unhealthy preoccupation with money or material things. So what is the solution if you face one of these issues? Number one, ground yourself. Stop whatever you're doing and step into your garden or the park without your shoes. The idea is to be close to the earth, to feel the earth beneath your feet. Another good way to do this is to visualize roots extending from your feet to the center of the earth. Number two, physical exercise. Exercise of any form and kind is an effective way to help with an unbalanced root chakra. Whether it is yoga, jogging, football or just a simple walk. Just get up and get moving. Doing this will help you activate stagnant root chakra energy within you. Number three, incorporate more reds in your life. It can be your clothes, your house, or the items you use. Since red is the color of this particular chakra, engaging with the color red will certainly help to balance this chakra. Number four, meditation. Seek out a quiet, comfortable place and sit or lie down. Begin to visualize a glowing, deep red light emanating from your root chakra. And feel the pulsation of its warm radiance. Visualize the light become glowing ball and imagine a red four petaled lotus flower unfold. You may realize that you have trouble getting the ball to spin or the flower to unfold itself, which is a sign of a blockage.
keep breathing and tending energy into the chakra until the bowel can spin easily and freely. Proceed to send the energy of abundance throughout your entire body through the other chakras. Number five, food. What you eat is what you are. You may have heard of this theory. Consuming root vegetables as well as naturally red colored foods such as meat, apples, beetroot and tofu will certainly help balance out this chakra. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe for more upcoming videos where I talk about how you can heal the rest of your chakras.